Hello, everybody. It's Bishop Deb. I just did a, a fabulous podcast full of fun things and witty repartee. And I'm, I'm at the end of Queen Street um, in the parking area here. And this big white car uh, arrived with um, a whole bunch of people who were very, very loud. So just about to do my prayer at the end. And I stopped it or I paused it. And instead of continuing, I hit the stop button. So all that lovely dialogue was done. Um, it's a busy day here in, in Niagara on the Lake for a Tuesday. I guess people are still taking some time after Thanksgiving to to um, enjoy the area. You know, it's it's fall. It's it's cold. Uh, definitely a change in the temperature and the air. Very overcast today, but I, I as I look across, I can see Toronto. Um, it's a, it's sort of a silhouette rather than a, a clear uh, skyline. But yes, we just got through Thanksgiving, and today I am pooped. I'm not. I'm not uh, Julia Child. I got to tell you, I'm not Martha Stewart. But <laughs> the energy it takes to cook a Thanksgiving dinner uh, when you've got so many other things in the hopper is, um, I think, tremendous. So you know we had we had turkey and we had veggies and I peeled potatoes and um, we had uh, a, a, the gift of a, a cake given to us from Simon's work so I didn't have to worry about dessert but today I'm I'm pooped it's been a been a really crazy time um, last week was was spent kind of um, doing weddings and going to plays. It was it was a lovely week. I'm not complaining. Um, but I'm not 22 anymore, unfortunately. Uh, we went to see Game of Love and Chance again, my third time. I uh, went with my son, Nick, whose birthday's coming up in a week or so. So I thought that would be a nice birthday present. And we arrived late because on Sunday, they start an hour earlier. So even though we were early for there, we were still late for the play. We would had to wait until the first intermission, and then we caught up. And we were sitting with the artistic director, and right beside all the actors, where they come and they kind of settle and change their clothes and that kind of thing. So it was it was actually it was even though we couldn't the um, the booth that we were in was kind of um, narrow for uh, or I don't know there was an obstruction there was a pillar in front of us, but. It didn't. It didn't matter. The play was just as brilliant as it has always been, and um, Nick really enjoyed it. And we sat with some really nice people who chatted, you know, during intermission, the other intermission, and exchanged cards, that kind of thing. And afterwards, um, the the it was their finale, so they were all hugging, and the actors were, you know, um, just feeling the moment, right? So, and we were right next door, and my friend uh, Jenny, who's in the play, um, I went to congratulate her, and I talked to the other actors and told them how much I enjoyed it. Apparently, if you get season's tickets, you can go to the place as many times as you want. I have to check that out. But I would have gone to that thing, you know, at least twice a week. I just loved it. I loved the whole, the 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 playfulness and the creativity and all improv based on... Uh, um, like a framework, but they were they were so good. And so while we're standing there talking with her, she said, um, well, why don't you come to Blood Spirit tonight? It's our, it's our closing. And I went, really? She said, yeah, I'll walk you in. So in that moment, we were given the gift of another opportunity to see the theater. I'd seen Blood Spirit last week with my friend, and it was it was really good. We were up in the balcony because... We couldn't get any. It was almost sold out. Those were the, and they were good tickets, but uh, different perspective. We got walked down to the seventh row, <laughs> right in the center. And as we're getting settled, uh, somebody joined us a couple of seats over. It was one of the actors from the afternoon, Travis. So that was that was kind of like, ooh, where's the red carpet? You know, very felt made us feel very special. I felt um, very thankful. Because the performance was wonderful. Deborah Hay was the medium in it. And she is astoundingly talented. Um, she was also in the earlier uh, play as well. It's it's really, 
um, Nick remembered her as Roxanne in Cyrano, which he had seen four times before COVID. It was that that year, and um, I had missed it because I was out with something. But the uh, she's wonderful. I mean, the, all the actors are good. But she's outstanding, outstanding. So if you ever get a chance to see anything that Deborah Hay is in, I would highly recommend it because you're going to be delighted. Um, she just brings so much to her performance. Anyway, so then I was just busy, busy with weddings and watching plays and making dinner. And um, we're, we're almost to the end of binging Father Brown. I think we're in the last season or we're about to start the last season and feeling suitably grieving over that um we have just fallen in love it's on Britbox, i believe um father brown it's 10 seasons so we've marched through nine of them um in fairly quick order we've stopped watching the soap opera so we have to catch up with that but um just i love the cast i love the the setting we did the same with sister boniface which we discovered uh before we found Father Brown, um, they're connected. And uh, hoping that their season's going to come out soon, their new season. We watch Agatha Raisin. We watch, um, oh gosh, Lucy Lawless. That's on Acorn. She has a series called My Life is Murder. And she plays a, a retired detective in New Zealand first and then Australia, uh, the second season. Uh, but brilliant, brilliant acting. Just um, and again, really good plots, really good writing. Um, lots of things to see and do. I mean, there's hundreds of choices, right? But we are marching through Father Brown at the moment. Um, so, you know, I can't believe it's October. I, I was looking through my chaplain stuff, getting organized for making ID cards and catching up with uh, changing addresses and that kind of thing, to send it off to the province. And I'm like, holy cow. What happened to, you know, May? <laughs> it seems like it should be like June. Um, and yet we're in October. Not too far from Christmas. <laughs> so, I hope that you had a, a, a wonderful Thanksgiving. And that you made lots of great memories. Um, I saw a, a meme on Facebook that said, Be sure and have a political discussion at your Thanksgiving dinner. It'll be less Christmas presents that you have to buy or something like that. Mm, Not my family. We do, you know, we're good. Uh, I I suppose there are those who have um, whacking political differences at the table. Um, Yeah, there's too, there's, there's not that many of us. So uh, I don't think that's an issue in our house. Maybe yours, maybe yours, maybe that happened. Um, Yeah, Christmas is coming. And so is the snow, but we're things are starting to change. The, the leaves are, are shifting. I hope it's beautiful where you are. Uh, they got snow in Algonquin, ha, 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 up in Halliburton area. So it is en route. It is en route. Oh, there's a Kerry Blue Terrier walking by. Anyway, um, I said all the good stuff in my original podcast. I can't even remember what I was talking about now. Something pithy, something... Tremendous, I guess, was meant to talk to myself with that. Before our friends come back to their car, um, let's have a little prayer to remember uh, the people in our lives who need to know healing and and recuperation and and swift answers to prayer. Uh, You know, we all got something, right? We're all dealing with so much in our lives. And it's important to remember that we're never alone. We've got the support of people who love us. We've got the spiritual support of angels who are there for us in every need. Even if you don't believe in them, they are there. And we've got our own resources that are deep and um, very effective. You know, we've got all the answers we need inside of us. It's just unlocking sometimes to to reveal what that can be. Um yeah, so let's let's say a little prayer. Gracious God, we give you thanks for the gift of this beautiful day, for the Thanksgiving weekend pass, for the abundance of harvest, for the 
many ways that you bless us. We ask that today we would know your presence in our lives, that you would bless us and hallow us, and that you would be with those whom we love, especially those who are going through trials and challenges. We ask that you would send healing angels to minister to those in need. We ask that you would send answers to those who are seeking. We ask that you would make lives better all around the world and work for the highest and best of everyone who calls upon your name. We pray for peace. We pray for an understanding between all human beings that we are one that we are here on this planet to love one another and not to obliterate one another. Today may we look past differences and see the commonalities. May we know that we are all your children and may a new understanding of respect and support be with all people who walk this earth. We pray for um, a radical change of heart, a radical understanding of love, a whole new way of seeing this planet as a unit, as a home for not only us, but for the flora and fauna and all the creatures of the planet. May we understand that today and draw it close to our hearts so that we may make a difference in the world in our own small way. We pray for ourselves that you would help us in our needs and distress. And we give you thanks. Every day is Thanksgiving Day in our lives and in our hearts. And all this we pray in your holy name. Amen. Well, it's really hard to to keep a train of thought around here, i got to say. Next time I'll find a quieter sp- spot. But there you go. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day and a week, and I'll talk to you again very soon. God bless.